Plico is a replace and enhance alternative to Link to SQL, or as we like to call it, supercharged Link to SQL. It opens up the black box to Link to SQL and gives you control over your code. But it's not going to stop there. It's also going to add new features as well as enhance existing functionality. Plank is still linked to SQL, but better. To make it quick and easy to get started using Plinko, we've literally added a quick start, which is designed to get you going in under 30 seconds. The quick start is a single code submit template. All you have to do is open up that template, select the data source, and click generate. Clicking generate will generate and launch a complete Visual Studio solution consisting of three projects. A Plinko data project containing a pre-configured Cosmos project, a dynamic data UI project, and a unit testing project. When the Cosmos project or CSP has been generated, the DBML, Plinko entities, query extensions, and all necessary assemblies will automatically be added to the Plinko data project. Plinko organizes all the entities and query extension files into a nice folder structure. Each class is composed of two files, one for your generated code and one for your custom code. Any custom code added to this file will be safely preserved through regeneration. After generation is complete, the Quick Start will have created a complete dynamic data UI. So if, if you set this to your startup project and run, you will be able to create, update, and delete data in your database. With the Quick Start, all your normal CRUD functions are immediately available in under 30 seconds. It's that easy to get started with Plinko. Plinko has added a bunch of new features and methods to link to SQL entities, including clone, detach, and serialize. Plinko uh, adds a lot of query extensions to the data context. It makes uh, querying your data extremely simple. All right, so say you want to query the person table. Uh, say you want to find somebody whose last name is Smith. You can do a by last name Smith. And then say you want to find everybody who's older than age 21. You can chain that together and add a by age and you can use a comparison operator and say, I want to find people older than 21 or greater than 21. If you want to cache your query results, simply add the from cache query extension to the end of any of your queries. It doesn't matter how complicated the query is, from cache will get and set the cache for you and will also manage the cache keys for you. Again, it's that simple. A great feature of Plinko is feature queries. Why go to the database multiple times when you already know that you're going to need several sets of data? Just add dot .future to the end of your queries, and it will automatically batch up all those transactions and go get them in a single trip to the database. When thinking about things that Plinko does to enhance Link to SQL, refactor regeneration is the first thing that comes to my mind. Plinko intelligently synchronizes your DBML with the database, importing changes from the database while preserving custom changes made to the DBML. The best part of that is how easy it is. You just right-click and regenerate. It's PFM, pure friendly method. Another thing Plinko brings to the table is performance improvement. Plinko adds batch updates and deletes, batch queries, and caching. So these are all things that, if used properly, can drastically increase the speed and efficiency of your application. Plinko is alive and well, evolving with fixes and improvements from both us and the community. Plinko is made by developers for developers. Plinko is innovative, efficient, and easy to use, and it makes you say, I want that. It's still linked to SQL, but better. Please visit us at Plinko.com. There you can download the latest versions, take our feature tour, watch video tutorials, and interact with other Plinko developers on our forums.